Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about binary search using C language. So this is my code. So right here, this is a important point, printf, enter or sorted number. So first let's uh, run the code. So I enter pipe. Let's enter any unsorted number 12, 34, 56, 32, 34. So if I'm going to search 32, then here the output come into the number 32 not point. So if I'm going to enter any Let's enter 5 number 12, 23, 45, 67, 89. So let's enter 67. So I enter uh, the output comes 67 font at poison 4. If I'm going to enter 4 number 12, 45, 32. 14. If I am going to search 14, then add here this output comes, it's not in the list. So you have to enter sorted number as ending in order and uh, then the output comes correctly. So if I am going to enter 5 elements here 1, 2, 34, 56, 78, 90. If I am going to search 90, then the output comes correct. Next, I'm going to discuss about the drain method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, go inside. So, right here, I have taken seven integer variable. First is i. And uh, next, a. Next, uh, b. c. And fn and next variable a double r so at your printer function so whatever in double code that display into the output screen into the number and whatever i'm going to enter so that received by n so i'm going to enter n value pine so here after control comes to printf function again. So this or display into the output screen enter percent D that that percent is for n. So the output come add your output display into the output screen into 5 sorted number. Here after control comes to this point. Here I will start from 0 and that's the condition 0 less than n. So 0 less than 5 condition is 2. So it's kind of function. So let's enter a double r 0 person here element. So this is a double r. So this is 0 index. 1, 2, 3, 4. So at a, a double r five, uh, size is 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. If you want more than here, that increase the size. So here, it will all zero person, let's enter. So I'm going to enter 11. And here after that increase the value of i. So i is one now. I'll check the condition one less than five. Condition is two. So let's enter it will all one person new element. So I enter, I'm going to enter 13. Here after i gonna increase, so i is two now. Check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is true, so that coincides right here. Let's enter a or 2 person new element. So I am going to enter 16. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Or uh, check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is true, so let's go inside so right here. Let's enter a or 3 person new element. So I am going to enter 23. Here after i increase, so i is now 3 to 4. That's check the condition for less than 5 condition is 2. So that coincides so right here. Let's enter new element. So I'm going to enter at here 31. 
Hereafter, I increase, so I is 5 now. Or check the condition, 5 less than 5. Condition not true, so that not coincide here. Control comes to this point. So look at there, this all elements are in ascending order. So at your control comes to this point, print your function. So this or display into the output screen. Enter the number to find. So whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by Fn. So I'm going to search at your 16. And here after a value initialized to 0. And c value equal to n minus 1. So n value is 5, 5 minus 1, c is now 4. Here after b equal to a plus c by 2. So a value is now 0 plus c value 4. So 0 plus 4, the value comes 4. 4 by 2, the value comes 2. So c is, oh, sorry, b is 2. Now here after that to control comes to while loop. So that while fn not equal to a, a double of b. So fn value is 16 not equal to a double or b. So b value is not 2. So 16 and a double or, or 2 position 16 is there. So 16 not equal to 16. Condition of false. So I am using AND operator. If any condition is false, so that not going to this point. So at here, this not go to this point. Now control comes to this point. If fn double equal to a double or b. So fn value I enter 16 and a double or b, 2 position b value is 2. So this condition is true. So that go to there, here. Percentage, so this percentage is for fn. And this percentage is for b plus 1. So the output is way. Uh, 16 found at poison b plus 1 means 3 poison. 16 found at poison 3. So if condition is true, so that not to not go to answer part. So hereafter that output mean function. So if you enter section, then the output goes 16 found at poison or uh, 3. 2 plus 1, 3. Suppose if I into I'm going to search uh, element 23. So at here, fn I enter 23. So a value start from 0 and c equal to n minus 1. So n value is now uh, 5, 5 minus 1, c is 4. And b equal to a plus c by 2. So 0 plus 4 by 2. The value comes 2. So b is 2 now. Here after add them fn so fn i enter 23 23 not equal to a double or b value is 2 so a double or 2 position 16 so 23 not equal to 16 condition is 2 so this condition is 2 and operator a less than equal to c y a less than equal to c so a value is now 0 and c value is now 4 so 0 less than equal to 4 condition, this condition also true. So both condition is true, so that coincides. So at a, if fn greater than a double or b. So fn value 23 and a double or b value 2. So a double or 2 position 16. So 23 greater than 16 condition is true. So that coincides. So at a, a equal to b plus 1. So a value is now b plus 1. So b value is 2, 2 plus 1, a become 3. So if condition is true, so that not go to else for hereafter that comes to this point. So at a b equal to a plus c by 2. So a plus c by 2 means 3. a value is 3 and c value is 4 by 2. So same by 2, the value comes 3. So b is to 3 now. So again, the while loop continue on here. Uh, that check the condition. Fn not equal to a double or b. So Fn value is now 23 and b value is now 3. So a double or 3 position 
So I take three points in twenty three. So twenty three not equal to twenty three condition false. And here a less than equal to c. So a value is now three. A value is three and oh, c value. Or c value four. So three less than equal to four. So this condition, this condition is true. So false and true. If any condition false, if you are using and operators, the then result result will come false. So false. So here after that, not go to inside here. Control comes to this point. So at here, if f and double equal to a double or b. So f and value I into twenty three. And oh. B value is now three, so a value three position twenty three. So twenty three double equal to twenty three condition is true. So control comes to this point here. The output display percentage for f and twenty three found at position three plus one four. So output display twenty three found at position four. So if condition is true, so that not go to as per here after that output may pass. So next time you should try to enter any other number like thirty, and do the try and method like this way. So you get the output thirty point at position two. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. So one more point. So you have to enter in this case ascending order number. Then you will get uh, expected output for binary search. So now in this video, it's over. So thank you again.